big news from Friday at the track. Jimmy Johnson's decision to return to the Cup Series in ownership and part-time driver role with Petty GMS Racing. Brett, spot on, spot off. Uh, look, anything Jimmy Johnson does, I'm spot on. Uh, huge respect for him. I'm curious as to how all of this went down, and I haven't had an opportunity to speak to anybody that would know. Like, if, if Jimmy Johnson's coming back, did Chevrolet bring him to the table? Did he just raise his hand and say, hey, I want to buy into this deal? Like, I, I, do we so know? So, he, he talked about it a little bit. And, okay. and he said that Alan Miller, um, who, who, who's who, an attorney, who's an attorney, in, I believe, in Michigan, yeah. uh, rep- has represented Jimmy forever. And he, Alan Miller, also must represent, do some work for, for, for GMS from, or okay. for Mari. Mari and, yeah. and so, Jimmy's wanting to run some races. And, and he's like, you should maybe talk to Mari. Like, you know, like, I think he brought them together. But this is incredible, right, to have Jimmy Johnson come back. The thing that was so weird to me about this press conference is, and I went back this morning and looked, you would just think, I mean, it's a big deal. you got Jimmy Johnson, you got Richard Petty, and, and they had uh, Noah and Eric Jones and, and Mike Beam and Mario. They're all there. But no one had, like, a team logo shirt on. Or I would have thought, I would have put Jimmy Johnson in this GMS shirt. Like, I'd have had him ready, yeah. right? And it was like Jimmy Johnson was like going to get a, a espresso and a biscotti or something an hour later. Like, well, he's he could just barely like, get in. I mean, yeah, that's right. That's right. He, couldn't even, he could barely get in. He barely in, got man. in the track. Yeah. No, it's, I'm spot on. And look, Jimmy coming up, I'm surprised that he wants to run a Daytona 500. Me too. Why? Yeah, I mean, we, that the might. son of a, the <laughs> maniac just ran the Indy 500. I know. Like, it's, I know. Mean, dude's been driving like everything. <laughs> I, I love it that he's wanting to do this, but part of me also is like, and just enjoy life like you've got I, got I got two things on that a enjoy your life you've already accomplished all the things but b don't tarnish your legacy because agree. because your legacy in nascar in my mind is one of the top three drivers ever if not the best driver ever ever to win the championships and the airs in the manner which he won them so why come back and go out and i don't mean any disrespect why come back and go out like terry labani yeah, who I, mean, I also I mean, had on a pedestal. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And I saw a photo, you know, because of, of, of my affiliation with Ganassi, I, I followed Jimmy's Indy career, you know, pretty close. And, and it's so interesting to me that when you see a photo of Jimmy Johnson standing next to an Indy car in the Indy car suit, you're like, hmm, whatever. I saw that photo from Homestead with the seven trophies lined up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. That guy right there was <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. But it's, it's the same guy, right? But, but it, to, to what you're just saying, Brett, you just view it differently because of what we're seeing happen now. And I, I, I hope he can come out, run well, and then, and then move on. I'll talk about this real quick. Jimmy Johnson came in, and he changed the world in terms of how drivers approached Sundays. Fair enough? From a physical perspective – because you also went out and hired a trainer, and, and you changed your regiment because of a guy like Jimmy Johnson. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I don't know that uh, – y- y- yes, I, I think that's fair. What I would say that he, um, he – you know, because of his success, people started like, well, maybe that's what I need to do. But I think Jimmy's real success is more between his ears than it was like what his legs would do on a bike or, or running – but he, and, and I remember talking to Chip when Jimmy first, because I, I was on this, this email chain to like all of Ganassi and, and Jimmy Johnson being joined. And, and I watched, you know, some of the replies that Jimmy had made to it. He's a really good leader and, and he's a, a motivator and, and, and his just a, like his ability of, I, to me, that was his strength. I, I think the fitness side was something that's easy for us to look at. And then all of a sudden everybody bought bikes, but but to me, like the mental side is where he was was so so strong at. Yeah. yeah. But I think some of that leads into the mental side, though. You know what I mean? Like if you get better, if you start working out, you're starting to get better mentally too. I do think you're right, though. Jimmy's a. What well, I'm spot on for this 100. percent Even in seven time champion. I mean, how that's incredible. How do um 14 of them over there. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not counting Dale Emmons. Yeah, not it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. It? <laughs> it is That's a crazy. 15 if you count Dale's but like, other one. <laughs> even if Jimmy comes back, you you ask him like, why is he doing this? Well, he went. He's been absolutely terrible in Indy cars for the road course stuff the first year that he ran. Got better and then had some good runs at ovals too. Ran the Indy 500. He's doing this because he wants to. I mean, he likes doing this stuff, and he he's already he doesn't care if you are happy if he's got seven. He's doing it because he loves it and wants to do it. And it's incredible to have him back as in the sport as an owner, and we're going to probably see him every week now almost. So. I, I a 1,000% agree with what you're saying. He's doing it because he loves it. 
I think Brett and I's point is that we're being selfish in that we want to remember <laughs> yeah. him as a god, as, yeah. as this as, like as, as the, this as legend. Like, I want. I did. That's my memory. Like yeah. to me, that's what <clears throat> makes yeah, I know what Jeff Gordon's career incredible. Is that he went out racing for a championship at Homestead. He did come back and do a couple of races, but for the most part, he went out on top. And so we always are going to remember Jeff Gordon as just like the best. Yeah, I was. I was surprised. Like, kind of like Brett was. I seen. All right, he's going to run a part. I think Jordan was the first one to break it. That Jimmy was going to run some races. You know, be part owner. So then I was like, I wonder what he's going to run. Like what races? And they're like, Oh, yeah. it's going to start at the five hundred. And I'm like, What? <laughs> well, he's well, on like, his. Why? You know what we're going to we can call it? It's just the the Jimmy Johnson doesn't give a f about Brett. What Brett <laughs> thinks to her. <laughs> like if like Jamie, if you were if you were going to come back and say they tell you. Go ahead and pick five races you want to run next he ran year. The, he did the 500. Well, I, I did the 500 because yeah. that was my, yeah. that was yeah, my option. That was, that, but yeah. if I could pick, yeah, I mean, I would probably pick some road courses. I think that I, I love to go into Sonoma. It, Sonoma is a really good road course. It wouldn't course. be the Daytona 500. No. no I mean, it just it wouldn't would not be, be any and speedway it, race, I assume. No, it like, wouldn't be a, a super speedway race, period, just is, because is, of. Is he locked into the 500? He's not. No, he's got no, a race. He's got a race. In. Yeah. With Earl. <laughs> is Earl going to spot for him? Oh, how does he not? I don't think so. Hey, hey, hey. I, I like. That. I heard. I heard Rob might be back though, but I don't know if he's gonna be spot with Jimmy. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey. Uh, hey good luck to Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, uh, I'm pulling hey, you think, for him. You think? Yeah, me too. Uh, do you think? Do you think Rick gives him 48? Mr. H gives him 48. I don't. No. Do you? I think I, there's I don't too much on there. They've got that. That's a diff, a new thing over there. Like they've. It's what's well, been a while too. I think it'd be different if it was like the following yeah, year. Yeah, first year. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what was his number in Xfinity? 92. That was, I mean, it wasn't his car, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, there you go. I know you want to sell your home. Do it with our friends at OfferPad. Go get a cash offer right now at OfferPad.com. 